Welcome to NTN Nightly, I am General Novel. This edition's top stories. Testing equipment for COVID-19 to arrive on island. The Department of Health and Wellness urges parents to prevent the spread of germs among children and celebrating the numerous attributes of womanhood. All that plus the latest in youth development and sports and the NTN Nouvelle Aquarius. The government of St. Lucia through the Department of Health and Wellness is continuing to strengthen preparation for in-country transmission and management of COVID-19. The department is building diagnostic capacity for testing for coronavirus. Currently, all testing for COVID-19 is done at the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, which is the regional reference laboratory for the Caribbean. Specimens from suspected cases are transported to the Ezra Long Laboratory at the Victoria Hospital for onward transport to CAFA. However, the procurement of testing equipment will change all that. National epidemiologist Dr. Michelle Fossois explains. Being cognizant of the international spread of COVID-19 and with the endorsement of the Honorable Prime Minister Alan Chastney, the Department of Health and Wellness has sourced equipment to facilitate COVID-19 testing on island. This equipment has already been shipped and it is expected to enhance the management of cases through timely diagnosis. The ports of entry, both air and sea ports, will be receiving additional public health staff to enforce the relevant regulations and protocols and to ensure the health of the St. Lucian public. The Department of Health and Wellness notes that COVID-19 is closer to our borders with the confirmation of imported COVID-19 cases in the Caribbean islands of the Dominican Republic, which has one case, St. Martin, two, St. Barthelme, one, and recently Martinique with two. Dr. Fosua is encouraging St. Lucians to avoid panic, rather to focus on preparation. The public is asked to continue practicing the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infections. These include regular hand washing with soap and running water or the use of an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues or clothing when coughing and sneezing. Avoid close contact with anyone showing signs and symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing or sneezing. Seek medical attention and share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have signs and symptoms that are suggestive of a respiratory illness. National Epidemiologist Dr. Michelle Fosua. Meanwhile, the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, has upgraded the risk of transmission of COVID-19 to the Caribbean region to very high. The revised risk level is based on international risk assessment guidelines. Multiple countries outside the original epicenter of Wuhan City are reporting an increasing number of confirmed cases. Significantly more new cases are being reported from countries outside of China than there are new cases in China. These recent situations are clearly of concern and CAFA member states are strongly urged to increase their surveillance mechanisms and to be ready to implement their national pandemic preparedness plans, which have been modified to address COVID-19. Dr. Joyce and John is CAFA's executive director. CARFA's decision is also informed by reports of COVID-19 cases in non-English speaking Caribbean countries in close proximity to CARFA member states. Another factor is sustained transmission of the disease in countries with direct flights into the Caribbean region. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to the virus. Simple, everyday preventive actions can help prevent the spread of respiratory viruses. Maintain at least one meter or three feet distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. Wash hands regularly. Using soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand rub if your hands are not visibly dirty. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, and especially after touching contaminated surfaces or sick people. If you have fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share previous travel history with your relevant healthcare provider. 
Given that the social behaviors of children tend to place them at greater risk of some infectious conditions like the cold, flu and coronavirus, parents and guardians are being called on to take the necessary precautionary measures to prevent the spread of germs among this age group. More in this report from Fernel Neptune. As the Department of Health and Wellness continues to prepare for the threat of the coronavirus, parents and guardians are being provided with guidance on ways to reduce a child's risk of infection. Director of the Bureau of Health Education, Natasha Lloyd Felix, encourage parents to ensure their children practice good hygiene in order to prevent the spread of germs. We're encouraging that parents have their children wash their hands thoroughly from home so that when they're in school environments, environments of play, or in another place where the parent may not be present, that habit has already been developed. Parents, we ask you please, when your children are at home, model hand washing. You need to show your child how to hand wash by you doing it yourself. What we have noted to be an, an area of importance is the duration that is given for hand washing. One way of helping your child is by singing the alphabet song to your child. That actually gives the period of 20 seconds that is required to have enough time to thoroughly hand wash. Ensure your child gets the palms covered. Ensure your child is able to go between the fingers, under the nails, the back of the hands to allow for thorough hand washing. Lloyd Felix also spoke on the best approach for infection prevention in schools. If perchance you notice your child is unwell, we are now in the flu season, the cold season, we ask you to keep your child at home as a way of protecting both your child and other children at school because by being in the presence of others, the chances of spreading disease, spreading germs, spreading the infection increases. We note that sometimes parents feel that they have no place to place that child, but we ask you please to consider a plan that in the event your child were to become ill, it may not necessarily be from corona, if it was present in St. Lucia, it may be the flu, that that child can be safely placed there to avoid him or her being in a school environment. Principals and teachers of schools around the island are encouraged to ensure that hand sanitizers are readily available and also classroom surfaces are cleaned and disinfected on a daily basis. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. This is NTN Nightly. Ryan O'Brien is up next. I'm innovative. I'm competitive. I am productive. I'm creative. I constantly improve what I do. And how I do it. I provide excellent customer service. I never stop learning. I give up my best, always. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, embracing excellence. Welcome back. We join Ryan O'Brien for the latest happenings in youth development and sports. Thanks, Janelle. I'm Ryan O'Brien and welcome once again to your update from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports on the NTN Nightly News. Trezel Secondary defeated Granivere Secondary by 121 runs as the Mass United Insurance Schools Cricket Tournament continued last weekend. Batting first, Shrizel Secondary got to 204 all out in 34 overs, with Ed Cooper top scoring with 65, and he was well supported by Tristan Norbal with 32 and Chevron Brown 31. For Granivere, Sante Alberti back 4 for 42, Janili Manuel 3 for 41, and Mayor Stanislaus 2 for 30. Granivere then replied with a paltry 83 in 23.3 overs. Shem Kamabat top scored with 12. Jude Joseph picked up four wickets for 12 runs, Sky Lafay 2 for 15, and Ajani Louis 2 for 20. That game completed the preliminary round of matches in the competition. In Group A, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Miku Secondary and Shrozel Secondary were equal on 12 points, Anchipo Secondary had four, and Granivia had no points, having lost all their games. In Group B, St. Lucia Sports Academy topped the group with 16 points, winning their four matches, 
followed by Sufre Comprehensive with 12 points. Fearful Comprehensive was third in the group after collecting 8 points, PI Secondary fourth with 4 points, and Clendon Mason fifth without any points. Group C saw Castries Comprehensive Secondary at top with 14 points, followed by St. Mary's College with 10 points. Babino Secondary finished on 8 points, Patricia D. James 4, and John Odlum no points. Group D was dominated by Leon Hess Secondary with 10 points, followed by Corden Secondary 8 points, Sir Ida Simmons finished third in the group with 6 points, and Cicero Secondary had no points, having lost all their games. Quarterfinals matchups were scheduled for Monday. Sir Arthur Lewis Community College taking on Sufre Comprehensive. Sir Sports Academy came up against St. Mary's College. Castries Comprehensive with Battle of Corinth Secondary and Leon Hess Comprehensive tackled Meikle Secondary. In the school's track and field championships on this week, the Northern Qualifiers set for Tuesday and Wednesday, March 10th and 11th at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground. The Southern Qualifiers on Thursday, March 12th and Friday, March 13th. The Viewfort Stadium will be the venue and the semi-finals scheduled for March 18th at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground with the finals on Friday, March 20th also at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground. And with that, we have come to the end of your segment for the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports for today. I'm Ryan O'Brien. Thanks, Ryan. St. Lucia on March 8th joined the rest of the world in celebrating International Women's Day. Ahead of the observance, a number of government ministries and agencies hosted staff activities recognizing the contribution of women to society. Anisia Antoine reports on an event spearheaded by the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries. In commemoration of International Women's Day, the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries hosted a retreat to celebrate the women within the ministry. The retreat, held under the theme To Be Female or To Be Woman, highlighted the issues faced by women and the important role women play in society. Minister with Responsibility for Culture and Creative Industries, Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose, stressed on the importance of these team-building exercises in achieving success. This opportunity there for the women of the department to engage, to interact, um, to share some thoughts with each other, I think it's, um, it's so opportune, you know, con uh, consist it's consistent um, with our government's um, intention to continue to build that new St. Lucia where people are free to ventilate, express their views, share it in team setting, um, evaluate themselves and see exactly where they are vis-a-vis um, -vis the plans of the agency that they work. So this is a wonderful working session for us. Um, it seemed light but I think the important thing is we get to know each other better um, in that environment and of course we're looking at the strengths of each other and what we all bring to the table with respect to the development of our agency. Minister Bell Rose encouraged all women to find their passion. If you can find your passion um, and develop yourself around that passion that you have, um, then it means a lot for the country and also for yourself um, as an individual. So the object is to be able to find that passion. We must learn to discover ourselves and who we are. Um, understand that we, we, as human beings, we have our limitations, but we can always grow and learn from the environment that we are in and from those who are better than us. Um, I think it's also important for us to literally prepare ourselves, you know, every day, you know, for the encounters that we will have um, and also leave ourselves open to absorbing and learning and growing you know um, as individuals and the key to of course in all our passion and everything else we need to be able to enjoy what we do and respect each other you know in the work that we're doing as we go about our daily lives. The day of activities included pedicures, hand and shoulder massages as well as a makeup class. Samantha Charles, tourism officer at the Ministry of Tourism, expressed her gratitude to the heads of the department for organizing such an initiative. This is a welcome initiative. I could speak for my colleagues. Um, it is very heartwarming to know that, you know, your management team, your heads of department, take the time out to show appreciation to you, you know, for, you know, your, your service and hard work throughout the months, the years. So the, my colleagues and I really appreciated this year. And 
not just because it's World um, International Women's Day around the corner, but I think it was a genuine effort on their part. The International Women's Day retreat took place on Friday, March 6, 2020, at the Pink Plantation House. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. Stay with NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Nouvelle of Creole. Keeping hands clean is important for good health. However, after a disaster, staying clean is hard to do, especially if there is no pipe-borne water. Simple things you can do, stay clean and remain healthy are wash your hands with soap and clean water. If these are not available, sanitizers with alcohol are options. Wash your hands many times during the day, before preparing food, eating, caring for a sick person or baby, treating a cut, wound or sore. Wash hands after using the bathroom, changing diapers, caring for animals, caring for sick or injured persons, after handling garbage. Washing your hands is one of the best ways to prevent illness. For further information, contact the Bureau of Health Education at telephone number 468-5349. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle, a Creole. Monsieur Tarjanel, Monsieur Madame Department of Kinivis Cosability, with formation and gouvernement cette ici, GIS, à ce moment Télévision Nationale Pays NTN, Capozito Nouvelle, a Creole. Was it all Primus Hutchinson? Gouvernement cette ici, En bas département santé, qu'a continué pour renforcer préparation et façon de ménagement pour si en cas COVID-19 entre un pays là. Département santé, qu'a bâti capacité pour conduire l'examination pour tester pour maladie corona. Recentement, toute affaire test qu'a fait en agence de santé publique Caribla, la CCAFA, concilion qui laboratoire pour les gens Caribla. Puis ce maladie ça là, département qu'a transporté Pour le laboratoire Ezra Young à l'hôpital Victoria, pour y ouvrir un lab café. Mais comme le gouvernement a acheté ces équipements pour conduire ces tests là, tout ça a changé. Docteur Michel François a expliqué que le département santé et le gouvernement cette ci en bas direction Premier ministre Honorable Alain Chasney, a adressé cette situation là très vite. Et selon Docteur François, ces équipements en route pour cette ci à présent, et ça a fait possible pour conduire tout test qui est nécessaire. À son maladie. Le département de santé note que la COVID-19 est plus près du pays nous à présent, comme la journée de rapport de la CA à la Dominican Republic. Ce matin, dès cette bafalme, il y a bien eu cette mort en pays Martinique. Dr. François a encouragé cette lycée pour ne pas trop casser le corps de mais pour préparer plutôt. Dr. François a encouragé le public là, généralement pour toujours laver la main. Et puis de l'eau exavant, et bien servir yon sanitizer, et bien n'importe ça qui n'est alcool. Pour moun aussi couvert bouche yo, le yon ka tousse, et bien ka estene. Ou estene hod moun ki ka tousse, et bien ka estene, continuellement, fait assurer ou aller wè dokte, si ou ni wè ou en ou ni pièce sin sa. En parlant de ça, kafra, j'ai placé uh, wis coroner bien haut après ça, et comme il très aisé pour tes enfants trouver yo en wis pour go wim, Flu et Corona, yon ka conseye, yon abe yon ka fa grand apel pou le pawan pou pou tout pou kosyon ki nesese pou apeche maladie a simen. Ka fra, a mèm deta, ka kontinue pou conseye le wizinan ek les etwajez pou pou tout pou kosyon ki nesese kon nou di lave la me pou chen distans hod moun ki ni flua ek pou pa manje an yen ki kwi, ebe ki pa bi an chwit. Système de sécurité régional, RSS, en collaboration et puis le Fonds de développement européen, j'ai présenté une quantité d'équipements qui est très nécessaire pour conduire l'investigation des crimes pour même organisation en ces pays régionaux. Il y a une grande quantité de ces équipements, c'est pour les officiers qui ont renforcé le loi PIA, par exemple, la police, à pays cette ici même. C'est quand on met sur l'équipement des affaires criminelles qu'à aller pour bureau des affaires crimes pour aider à prouver la façon pour agir et puis situation crime en pays cette ci pour aussi amasser évidence des primaires et plus toujours pour les officiers qui ont conduit investigation crime pour ça conduire travailleux primaires et facilement. 
Milton Daisy qui a chebé position con chef police pour le moment. Notez que c'est que mon sala qui a véritablement assisté ces police là primaire pour faire bataille contre crime à cette ici. Selon chef police Daisy, police cette ici ni briser assistance pour faire bataille contre crime et pour aussi éprouver capacité pour conduire investigation. Il a ajouté que organisation police à cette ici a continué à subir ses bénéfices hors RSS là. Il va y avoir aussi là qui ces équipements là pas qu'à en utile et qu'à assister ces officiers qui a conduit travail en ligne de bataille contre crime, particulièrement yo qui ni pour conduire investigation concernant accident l'auto et concernant les gens qui tuent à l'autre monde. Une de objectif programme là c'est pour augmenter la capacité des officiers de police pour développer une meilleure façon de conduire le travail. RSS là, a essayé pour renforcer la capacité des agences qui sont responsables pour efforcer le pays. Particulièrement, là, il vient pour les problèmes de drogue et les gens qui ont touché le business de trafic de drogue. Ces équipements de RSS là, a porté valeur qui a été apporté valeur qui a estimé à de 67 000 dollars. Deuxième directeur exécutif RSS, là, Graham Archer, qui a remercié, eh bien, remercié Lilio Iwap pour supporter le programme et principalement pour ses équipements. Ministre des Affaires et Sécurité Nationale, honorable sénateur Herman Gold Francis, remercie l'organisation RSS et Lilio Iwap pour déguer l'assistance des outils pour faire bataille contre le crime. Selon Francis, ces équipements là, qui a approché l'occasion pour trouver évidence. Juste pour les gens qui peuvent être morts et qui Et ce n'est pas toute information qui est nécessaire pour parler à ce que les gens qui L'organisation police qui a continué pour bâtir la capacité pour service de sciences forensiques qui ont des outils pour effectivement gommer contre le crime. La présentation a été faite à l'hôtel Sandals Regency en la TOC qui a été faite le 4e en mois de mars. Ministre des Affaires et Sécurité Nationale, Honorable Herman Gold Francis, j'ai déclaré que l'année brisée, il y a une grande réduction à ce moment-là public qui a traité les gens qui étaient en prison. Ministre Francis explique que ça ne veut pas dire que la réduction n'est pas parce que la panique comprend concernant les dégâts de crime en société, mais plus mal agi, plus ou mal agi, et puis les gens qui étaient là, c'est plus de possibilités pour répéter ces crimes là encore. Ministre Francis, fait comprendre qu'il faut la société à faire un effort pour aider les gens qui sont en prison, trouver une autre chance pour réformer la vie. Il a ajouté que, malgré les gens qui continuent à toucher un crime, la nuit aussi a des gens qui véritablement veulent changer la vie. Le ministre Francis a déjà fait un appel à appel ça là avant et qui a répété qu'il a assisté à l'assistance récemment 4e conférence des officiers qui sont responsables pour les institutions de prison et les règles de prison contre l'organisation de ce type de pays. On a Francis qui parlait après la conférence, il a remarqué que c'était un monde qui passait assez bien, comme la tenait plusieurs, ça qui était concerné, il est venu pour faire prison et réformation. Il dit qu'il a discuté de manière pour développer des programmes de réformation, de réhabilitation et de manière pour établir la vie sociale pour les gens. Les prisonniers retournés en commune. Gon Kofwas là, qui a pris un coup tous les années pour chercher une solution à un problème de prison, avec l'autre façon, à pas dit prison, nécessité pour programme pour réhabilitation sociale, pour primaire capacité pour les officiers de prison, pour aussi abattre la corruption et coacher la jeunesse qui a bas l'âge qui a trouvé en prison, mais établissement pour les officiers de prison en parmi l'autre. Deux jours qu'on force là, tu es pris coup à Dominican Republic, avec le ministre Tenny et puis directeur facilité prison bodily, Hillary Herman. Et c'est comme ça, nous avons trois nouvelles là, messieurs, mesdames, nous avons remercié autant, nous avons gardé, nous avons une invitation. Je ne peux pas considérer qu'on se fait la vie, nous avons présenté une autre nouvelle à Coyola. Après ça, nous avons présenté au Chanel. Merci à Pearl Primus. Here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. The skies are fair, becoming cloudy at times with a few showers. The Atlantic high pressure system will generate moderate to brisk easterly winds and influence rough sea conditions across the eastern Caribbean region during the next few days. Patches of low level clouds moving with the wind flow will cause a brief shower period over the islands during the next 24 hours. 
Tides for Castries Harbour were high at 3.45 p.m. and low at 9.50 p.m. The tides for View for Bay were high at 4.52 p.m. and would be low at 11.17 p.m. The seas moderate to locally rough with waves 5 to 7 feet or 1.5 to 2.1 meters. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to above normal seas. The sun will rise Tuesday at 6.14 a.m. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. before repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norvell.